Hi, I'm Bill Evans. I thought I would talk to you today about the Dr. Dre case and how that case might apply to people who do not make $100 million a year. Um, Dr. Dre, if you've been following the news, is in the process of divorce and his wife is claiming, I believe it's $2 million per month in spousal support based upon his $100 plus million per year earnings during marriage and after separation. Under Family Code 4320, 13 factors are set forth which the court is to determine in formulating a fair amount of spousal support for the under-earning or lesser-earning spouse. 4320, among other considerations, looks at what was the marital standard of living, meaning how much income was generated by either or both spouses while married and living together. We know Dr. Dre um, allegedly made a hundred million bucks plus a year and his wife entertained and spent a lot of money on charities and dinner parties. So whether you like it or not, if you are the higher earning spouse, there is no exception to 4320 that says essentially enough is enough or resolves the question of when is, enough, when is a certain amount too much and should be reduced the court is obligated to consider any award of support against the standard of living, meaning the income generated by either or both spouses during the marriage, and to attempt to replicate that standard of living by evenly dividing and allocating the income. Now, you might ask, how does this apply to me, a regular person watching this video blog, when I don't make $100 million a year? Well, I'm glad you asked. Here's the answer. If you are a relatively high earning spouse, and I define that as north of 300,000 per year in the real world, on the spousal support side, you are probably not going to obtain any relief and it is what it is. The earnings of the couple while married are viewed as collectively earned by the team, the married team, and those are going to be allocated according to Family Code 4020, so the higher earning spouse is going to have to suck it up like Dr. Dre and pay whatever is required based upon those high earnings. If you have minor children of the marriage, ordinarily the determination of child support for the minor children is determined by the Dissel Master or ex-spouse computer programs used by all judges and required to be used by all judges and practicing divorce attorneys like me throughout the state of California. Um, and to obtain the formula from the Dissel Master, you will fall off your chair when you see the amount of child support to be paid, which, if you have more than one child, can approach up to 24% of your gross. Scary big numbers. Well, at least in the context of child support with an extraordinarily high earner, Family Code 4327 provides relief. That permits the court to make a finding that the higher earning parent is an extraordinarily high earner and allows the court to consider the actual needs of the child in fashioning the support award, which means rather than to use the formula, which would generate, if you make a million bucks a year, theoretically, what's that? 240,000, that's 20,000 a month in child support on that hypothetical, the court may take the position that the actual needs of the child, so there is a relief valve for child support to lessen the financial obligation of people who earn in that north of 300,000 range. Unfortunately, the same limitation has not yet been codified, although the McCourt versus McCourt case and the now the owners of the Dodgers, the new Dr. Dre case, suggests that there may be proposed legislation coming to take another look at whether or not these ridiculously high demands for spousal support should be the subject of adjustment through the legislature. But right now the courts are required to follow the family code and under the spousal support obligations, Whatever is earned is community money, and that's why I fully expect to see the Michael Jordan and McCourt and probably Dr. Dre awards
being you know well north of a million or even two million bucks a month. Child support there has been and remains relief where a more accurate number of what the child or children truly needs will be awarded because the court through the and the legislature has already recognized that most of that money does go to the receiving parent's pocket and mom or dad buy a new Porsche and the kids still wear the $29 blue jeans just like my kids. So that's my take on the Dr. Dre case. Thank you.